Good morning, everyone, and thanks for joining us online on this blustery winter day. As you know, pretty much the entire island is shut down today, so we wanted to post this short service for you. In Psalm 46, we read, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth should change, though the mountains shake in the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam, though the mountains tremble with its tumult. Be still and know that I am God. I am exalted among the nations. I am exalted on the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. As we worship God together, let us pray. Lord God, our Heavenly Father, we gather from our homes this day to worship you, knowing that you are always with us and knowing that we are united together through our faith in Christ, no matter where we are or the distance that separates us. We thank you, Lord, for sending Jesus to us to show us how to live following in your ways. And we give thanks that through your Holy Spirit, we are given the guidance and insight we need to serve you each day. Dear God, as we worship you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, we offer you our love, thanks, and praise. And with gratitude for you and all you do for us, we pray together now as Jesus taught us, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. In the Gospel, according to Mark, chapter 4, verses 35 to 41, we read these words. On that day, when evening had come, Jesus said to them, Let us go across to the other side. And leaving the crowd behind, they took him with them in the boat, just as he was. Other boats were with them. A great windstorm arose, and the waves beat into the boat so that the boat was already being swamped. But he was in the stern, asleep on the cushion, and they woke him up and said to him, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? He woke up and rebuked the wind and said to the sea, Peace, be still. Then the wind ceased, and there was a dead calm. He said to them, why are you afraid? Have you still no faith? And they were filled with great awe and said to one another, Who then is this that even the wind and the sea obey him? These are the words of our Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. The ongoing storm this weekend has reminded us of a truth we often forget. We don't control the events of our lives. Most people had plans for this weekend. Some had social events planned or family dinners or sporting events or even just grocery shopping. And suddenly we're in the midst of a three day snowstorm that has virtually shut down our island. And when we have windy conditions like this weekend, it compounds the problem. Like many of you, we were shoveling snow away from the door to the house only to have it drift in again and again throughout the day. And today is much the same. While meteorologists do their best, there are times even they are caught unaware by storms. Weather can be quite literally unpredictable and storms can come unexpectedly. The difficulties we face in life can be much the same, which is, I think, why we often refer to them as storms. Sometimes we can see difficulty or problems brewing, but most of the time the storms we face in life are unpredictable and come without warning and they turn life upside down. And sometimes 
you dig yourself out only to be snowed in again. As strange as it may sound, storms often bring us closer to God because we are helpless in the face of them. And it reminds us that so much of life is beyond our control. And so we lean on God's promises that he is always with us and he is with us in the midst of the storms we face. In Mark's gospel, we read the account of the night when the disciples were on the Sea of Galilee and a fierce storm arose, leaving them overwhelmed with fear. In their distress, they cried out to Jesus, Lord, do you not care that we are perishing? Sometimes we feel that way when we face storms in life and we cry out, God, don't you care? God does care. He has promised he is with us in the midst of the storms we face in life. And as we read in Psalm 46, as our call to worship, God reassures us with the words, be still and know that I am God. In keeping with that promise, in response to the disciples' cry for help, Jesus responds with the words, peace, be still. He said it to the waves in the midst of the storm. He said it to the disciples to reassure them. And he also says it to us as a reminder that even in the midst of the storms we face, we can have a measure of peace knowing that God is with us. While we can't control most of the events of our lives, we can control whether we react or respond to them. We can react with anger or frustration at what has occurred and lash out at God asking why. Or we can respond with faith, thankful to God for being with us in the midst of the storm, trusting that eventually he will bring us through it. It brings to mind the saying, don't tell God how big your storms are. Tell your storms how big God is. Interestingly enough, in Psalm 147, which we were going to read together in church today, we find these words. Great is our Lord and abundant in power. His understanding is beyond measure. He sends out his command to the earth. His word runs swiftly. He gives snow like wool. He scatters frost like ashes. He hurls down hail like crumbs. Who can stand before his cold? The references to snow and hail and cold are definitely appropriate for this weekend. But listen to verse 18. He sends out his word and melts them. He makes his wind blow and the waters flow. It's a reminder that all storms come to an end. The snow will eventually melt What's frozen will thaw, and spring will come. Most of the time, there is absolutely nothing we can do about the storms we face, and we just have to wait the storm out. This weekend is an example of that. There's absolutely nothing we can do to change the weather, but we know the storm will eventually end. We'll all eventually dig ourselves out of the drifting snow, and we'll get back to our regular schedules. But in the meantime, receive this snow day as a gift from God who loves you, as a gift of time to unplug from all the things you thought you would be doing today and enjoy some downtime. As God says in Psalm 46, be still and know that I am God. He is God and he is with you in the storm. Let us pray. Dear God, sometimes we feel overwhelmed by the storms we face in life, and we wonder how we'll get through. But we trust in your promise that you are with us, and you will sustain us and give us strength to overcome whatever storms we are facing. Loving God, we pray today for our church family near and far, that you will bless each one in body, mind, or spirit as they have need. We pray especially today for Joan Kennedy as she recovers at home from surgery. 
that she will heal quickly. For little Hannah Doyle, who is in the QEH, that she will continue to gain strength and recover. For Don Watson and others who are dealing with pain and injury, that you will bless each one with healing and strength. Lord God, as we begin this new week, remind us that you are always with us and please continue to watch over and guide us. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And now Susie's going to sing for us, Be Still and Know That I Am God. Thank you, Susie. Let us pray. Be still and know that God is with you always, above you to watch over you, beneath you to sustain you, ahead of you to lead you, behind you to guard you, beside you to be your friend and constant companion, and within you to give you his peace, this day and forevermore. Amen. Blessings to you for a great week, everyone.